Avocado. I feel very yellow today. You know, it's a good color. I believe we're live, Eric. We're live. Yeah. Shall we introduce ourselves to our lovely audience? Let's do it. You're up. Well, my name is the Kyle Miller, Visitor Services Associate. And you are? <clears throat> I'm Eric Dietrich, also a Visitor Services Associate. A new caster voice. Yeah. Welcome now everyone. We're to Ooh, welcome. Yeah. There's a there's a delay working with Zoom or whatever this is. Welcome everyone to Trivia with the Walters. As you can see, we've got a bunch of upcoming virtual events. Tuesdays, Thursdays, 5:30, as you can see there, and you can find more info on our website, thewalters.org. And these are all virtual. All virtual. All virtual. Like us right now. Yeah. All right. What to expect this evening? Give you a quick rundown of what's coming up. We're going to play Two Truths and a Lie. Then we're going to go over how to play the game. Then the game will commence. Um, we will read the answers uh, after each question. Got it, got it, good. I got it, I'm ready to play. Got it, you ready? And you can use this link to play. It's pollev.com forward slash wham trivia 449. That's pollev.com forward slash wham trivia 449. 449 has no ulterior meaning, other meaning. It's just a number, so don't, just, don't look into it, it too much. Not a bad number by any means. No, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. I wish it said 46. It's high up there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, nothing but a number. would be great. You'll have to explain that to me. Yeah, think about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. All right, just Biden time to true truths and a lie. Here we go. Yeah, it's you. I'm known for lying to people, so this should be fun. Uh-oh, got to get that lasso out. All right. First one. I won a trophy for my burping skills. I can believe it. Yeah, I can believe it too. Uh, I was once an extra on The Wire, the famous Baltimore uh, TV show. Number three. I am an ordained minister. Hmm. So... Got any guesses, Eric? Two pizzas and a burp. Two pizzas and a burp. I'm that was my nickname. I'm thinking that one might be true. The Wire. Mm. 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 I was a little young. I, was a little, I didn't have a speaking role. I couldn't even speak. Uh, and I was just in the background. So You might have been a twinkle in your daddy's eye. Um, an ordained minister. I don't know. You know. It's easy. Got, it's easy to do it nowadays. You do love love. I'll give you that. I love love. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with the wire. I. I just. I. I don't know. I'm, I'm adding All up right. some numbers right here. All right. Let's. Let's right. reveal. The big reveal. We're going to reveal the two truths. I did, in fact, win a trophy for my burping skills. That doesn't surprise me. That may be an upcoming event in the next couple of months. Stay tuned. Ooh. Check the website. Does it have to be virtual? It, you know, you'll be able to hear it from your home, I bet. Yeah, right. The second truth, uh, I am an ordained minister. Very true. I do, I, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. I can perform weddings and baptisms. I'll send out a digital card to you all, and you can hire me for my services. I'd like to see you burp your way through a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> me too. All right. I think I'm up now. 
All right, here's mine. It's go time. I was a swimmer in college. Was I? Or in a soccer jersey, so you might have to think about that. I'm a natural blonde. Can't you tell? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or I've sang on stage with the great Patti LaBelle. That's very interesting. Uh, mainly because I have no idea who Patti LaBelle is. Makes a great macaroni and cheese recipe. I'll send it to okay. you. Okay, um, very good. Swimmer started out as a member of the uh, Bluebells out of Philadelphia. So hmm. I, I know a few things about her. And why, why did you get up on stage to sing with Patti LaBelle? I mean, I've, got the, voice, I've got the voice of an angel. You know that. Oh. You, you hear me that. in the atrium. You hear me in the atrium. All right, let's yes. see. Here's my truths. Bam. Yep. Yeah, I had to know these. Gitchy, gitchy, yeah, yeah. You're telling me Good you're day. not a natural blonde. Nope, not a natural wow. woman either. Wow. That's incredible. Just a brunette and a dude. All right. She's a brunette dude. <laughs> Love it. All right. How to play. Head to that polling link we mentioned earlier. Uh, it's posted somewhere, correct, for them to easily click and get to. Uh, limited participants, but those who aren't able to get in, just play along. Keep track at your home. You will have 30 seconds to answer each question. Uh, ask questions or make comments in the chat box, and please refrain from using outside help. And most importantly, have fun. Yeah, have no fun. cheating. No other. No other screens. No cheating, but you know, if cheating makes you have more fun, then cheat away. No art books. Oh. No. Yeah. Oh. All right. Right. I think we're ready. The, the link is at the top of the comments yep. on Facebook and YouTube. All right. Here and here's a QR code if you all want to uh, scan that, and it'll take you right to uh, the poll ev.com link. Wow. Thirsty. Just a little water. Yeah. <laughs> Just a clear beverage. That's right. All right. We're ready in three, two, one. What animal does the elephant-headed god Ganesha travel upon? Now, this guy is in the inner lobby at the museum. If you'd like to stop by and see him, them, they, non-virtual. So please um, come check it out. So your, uh, your options are elephant, rat, bird, and beetle. Yeah, we were, we gotta get some Elephant, rat, bird, beetle. All right. What animal does the elephant-headed god Ganesha travel upon? Is it your elephant? Is it your Baltimore rat? Is it your Baltimore Oreo bird? Or is it a beetle? Beetles are yeah. always on their backs. Why is they that? are. Someone needs to help the beetles. Their backs itch. You know, I, I know I know the answer to this because our very own Tim Mack in the inner lobby, he's an expert on this piece and he's been he's been studying it nonstop since Ooh. we reopened. He can tell you everything that Ganesha is holding and why. Nice. Yep. All right, it looks like the uh, the numbers are coming in. We got a got a winner here. But um, yeah, it's a rat. It's a rat. He's not uh, traveling upon him his himself. That rat has the toughest job in the world, I'd say. I think so. Yeah. All right, you're up. Question two: uh, Which of the following the seven serpents Chico Mercado, an Aztec deity, represent? Corn, potatoes. Harvest or jade? 
Mm. Chico Mikado, which of the following does seven serpents, Chico Mikado, an Aztec deity, represent corn, potatoes, harvest, or jade? Got any, uh, any guesses on this one? I mean, people are feeling autumnal based on the numbers that are coming in. I'm seeing yeah. a lot of corn, and I'm seeing a harvest. Yep. A cornucopia, if you will. Oh, very good. No, no summer squash, though. No potatoes. No, no pumpkin. I love a potato. I love that jade is 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 up there. I love jade, but um, yeah, I wouldn't nope. recommend eating it. No, don't taste good. No. Nope. All right, what do we think, everybody? What do we up, think? up, up, harvest going down. And the answer is. Corn, maize, maize. I love corn with a little butter and Old Bay. Ooh. I love cornbread. Cornbread yep. made of cornbread stuffing with kielbasa. Oh, it's bomb. All right, question three: Who is the central figure below the Buddha in this artwork titled "Seated Buddha"? Is it the goddess of protection? the god of war, the goddess of agua, or mm. the goddess of tierra. So protection, war, water, or earth. Let's see again. Who is the central figure below the Buddha in the artwork titled Seated Buddha? Goddess of protection? Is it the god of war, the goddess of water, or the goddess of earth? Uh, I don't know. It's a toughie. It looks like Jar Jar Binks. Well, you could say that. Yeah. Definitely wringing out of the hair. Yes. Which is which was wet. I would imagine, yeah. But would the goddess of water be getting rid of the water from her hair? I don't know. Seems like you'd mm. want to keep that stuff close by. No maybe, the hair's a, maybe the hair's a weapon. No, no one's even bothered and could think that. Maybe there's a, a fifth option, goddess of hair. Oh. You never know. The pole is full. Yeah. What is it? Hmm. I would love if it was war. Oh, it's Earth. Goddess of Earth. Earth. Yep. Should have known. Uh, the goddess of Earth, here's her fun fact, is wringing her hair, so we got that right, to create a flood to wipe out the demon Mara and his troops. You can read more of that story uh, on our online collection at thewalters.org. That's incredible. All right. Ooh, I, I wow. could create a flood when I wring out my hair in the morning. You could. You need it. You need to to think about. I need a, calling I need the a barber. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Question four: uh, Scholars think this type of hat was worn by Wari people with this occupation: uh, doctors, warriors, farmers, or musicians. It's a beautiful hat. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. hat. Scholars think this type of hat was worn by Wari people with this type of occupation. Uh, doctors, warriors, farmers, or musicians. Wow. Wow. It's torn. People and are like, thinking, I've seen my doctor wear this kind of hat, so I know it could be him. Uh, I've seen a lot of warriors wear this type of hat. Musicians. This could be anyone. I'm glad Farmers is coming up because, I mean, no one was going there at first, but I could see it. I could, I could see, see it. it. Out on the farm, wearing this kind of hat. I love it. Bringing that produce wagon into town. Yeah. Bringing a little joy into people's lives. Oh, joy is great. Joy is great. We love joy. <laughs> we love joy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, and what's the answer? 
Warriors. Ah, of course. Warriors. You either go full on protection or you distract your enemy. And this creates a perfect distraction. Total diversion. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, question five. Who is this little girl? Hint, she is a part of a large aristocratic family. Is it Mary Magdalene, Marie Antoinette, Julia de Medici, or none of the above? Once again, who is this little girl? Hint, she is a part of a large aristocratic family. Whoa. Is it Mary Magdalene, Marie Antoinette, Julia de Medici, or none of the above? No one's giving Mary. Mary Magdalene always gets the short end of the stick. Yeah. She's no, up, up, up. Somebody's saying none of the above. Yeah. I'm going to go with a lot Corleone. Of for <laughs> Medici. Cor Corleone. Corleone. <laughs> I think I had that for dinner last night. Corleone. <laughs> little pasta sauce. All right, guys, we're going to make an offer, make you an offer you can't refuse. Let's see the answer. <laughs> wow. Ah. Uh, polls they were right. It. They knew polls it. Were right. They did. Right um, off the bat. We've got a, yeah, we've got a program on this coming up um, on uh, December 1st. Our Dr. Joni Spiker, Spicer, as you can see, will be discussing this fascinating painting, and it is. There's quite a story to it. Um, so please visit our uh, events page on the website to register. Question six, who is Edmonia Lewis? A model, a sculptor, a preacher, or all of the above? Hmm. Who is Edmonia Lewis? A model, a sculptor, a preacher, or all of the above? You know anything about Edmonia Lewis, Eric? Hmm. Uh oh. Watching you know, these numbers come in. It's like November if, 3rd all over again. Oh, it takes me right back. If I were in school, I, mean, I would I would guess all of the above. That's always yeah, a safe same. bet. Safe bet. I'm surprised preacher's not more. I mean, she's very much in in that all white, um, looking yeah. like a healer. So, no votes for model. Gosh, well, I, I guess all of the proud. above. Yeah, <laughs> true. Hmm. It's looking like it's going all of the above. Let's see the answer. Sculptor. Psych, we knew that. Well, you could tell by the stance. I mean, look how look how cool she is. That's a sculptor stance if I've ever seen one. Well, and her work is the first one I see when I go into the uh, fourth floor off the floating staircase, the bust that she did, which we're gonna show you guys right now. But uh, yep. Despite overwhelming odds, Ms. Lewis found international success as a sculptor in Rome, settling among other expatriate artists and actors. Since, in her words, the land of liberty had no room for a colored sculptor. So here is the bolt, the bust of Dr. Lewis, no relation, uh, which was made in her studio, and you can see it. As I said, if you come up to the fourth floor via the Center Street stairs or the floating staircase in the atrium. Great beard. Great beard. Move Ember. Or is it Movember? I don't know. I'm trying it out. Okay, Rosa Bon Rosa Bonhur kept animals in her studio and at home to domesticate them, study them, dress them up. Hope they were cats or uh, all of the above. All right. I also hope they were cats. Yeah, Ashley Pratt's cat, man. 
gosh, that girl has a lot of clothes. All right, Rosa Bonhoeur <laughs> kept animals in her studio and home to domesticate them, to study them, to dress them up, or all of the above. I mean, if it's cattle, I don't think she's, uh, well, she might be dressing them up. If it's cattle, you're not doing anything but studying them in your home. Or eating them if you eat meat. Um, domesticating them. They make, I don't know how, what kind of pets they make. Strange bedfellows. You would always be telling them to move. it over. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys thought. Uh -huh. Study them. Yep. Yep. Of course. Let's see, we're on to number eight. Oh, fun, fun fact. fact about Rosa Bonjour studied animal anatomy and osteology at the National Veterinary Institute College in Paris. Hmm. You didn't want to read the, the French? You know, nope, nope. That was just as a translation for our, our French speaking audience. Audience. Members. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could try. Ecole Nationale Veterinaire de Alfort. In Paris. 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 In Paris. All Close right. enough. Close enough. Oh. <laughs> this Jeez, one minor. Yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> Who is the person on horseback in diptych with Mary and her son, flanked by archangels, apostles, and a saint? Is it St. Michael, St. Francis, St. George, or it is unknown? Hmm. 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 I'll tell you this. It's unknown to me. So who is the person on horseback in diptych with Mary and her son flanked by archangels, apostles, and a saint? St. Michael, St. Francis, St. George, or it is unknown? Ah, geez. I don't know. Um, geez. Where's the dragon? Gosh, everybody's really solid on St. George. Yeah. No St. Saint Saint Francis. Hmm. Oh, St. Michael. St. Michael. There we go. It is unknown. 7%. Yeah. It is unknown. I will say, I think we've got a lot of people taking in our digital programming because um, a lot of this was featured in the past programs we've had. So um, thank you for supporting us during this digital time, this virtual era. All right, let's see. George, Michael, Francis. Mm -hmm. St. George. This audience little, is smart. They are. It's probably all docents again. Those brainiacs. Or future docents, maybe. Or future docents. Mm. Or docent emeritus. No, I think we've got some we've got some Walters enthusiasts here too, mm -hmm. I think. Thanks, Ashley P. Oh. I'm gonna read the fun fact. Oh, okay. I would love you to. The name is written in Gehas. Gehaz, the liturgical language of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. You can hear more in the talk, The Virgin and Child in Ethiopian Art, with Christine Shaka on our YouTube channel. Gehaz, not G's. Not G's. Not G's, Louise. Nope. Ooh. You want this one or you want me to take it? Well, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. All right. All right. I have some I have some ideas here. Question 9, what profession are the two men practicing in this sense? Eh, this painting from 13th century Baghdad. Are they doctors, physicians, 
textile dyers, winemakers, or lumberjacks. I don't see any buffalo plaid. <laughs> um, I'm going with wine. Those look like grape trees. Looks like some good wine. Yeah. So what profession do we have going on here? Are they doctors, physicians, textile dyers, winemakers, or lumberjacks? Wine. Come on, wine. I hope they're not lumberjacks. Chopping down no. the last two trees in that forest. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Greta Thunberg would not like that. Oh, no. Let's see. Um, uh, textile dyers is getting some marks. It is. Now, in winemaking, you, you tend to stomp on the grapes, right? Yep. They're, they're, there's a bucket there. Okay. Maybe they're about to stomp on them. Probs. But, I mean, it looks like textile dyers. Some indigo, some turmeric, some beets. Get mm. those primary colors. Let's see. All right. The jury has spoken. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. What? Who knows? I'd like an explanation. I hope some docents are in the chat. They're going out there collecting their own ingredients. Yep. I love Medic it. Medicinals and such. Can you imagine your doctor doing that today? Oh my God. Apothecary kits and yeah. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a few wacky doctors, so I could imagine that. I'll be right back, Eric. I go out back and get your medicine from the tree. <laughs> Little sap. <laughs> oh, run, it a, run it through a sift with my buddy over here. I'll be right back. <laughs> Some fun guys. Um, all right, <laughs> next slide. But I think this is our last. You know, I think it is. <sighs> Question ten: Our grand finale. Why was this painting commissioned? Why was this painting commissioned? In honor of his new title? For a friend? To, no, to donate to a museum? Or for that sleeping dog in the corner? Lazy dog. Lazy dog. Why was this Whoa. painting commissioned? In honor of his new title? For a friend? To donate to a museum? Or for the dog? We got a lot of dog lovers in the audience. It looks like it. I'm a cat person, so I wouldn't donate... A painting to a dog. No. Um, no. no. Nope. <laughs> Somebody donated, or we, no, we acquired it. We didn't get a donation of this. Um, all right. Poll is full. Let's see what we got. 60% for in honor of his new title. Let's see what that answer is. In uh, honor of his new title. Yep. And if you come to the uh, museum on site, you will see we've got this guy, and he's wearing a mask. Yes. See him on the first floor and on level three. Mask up, Maryland. Mask, mask up. up. Man. All right. That's it. Thank you all. Did we have that fun? That was awesome. That was awesome. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. My natural blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> My Thank swimming. you, everyone. Oh, you're swimming. Was it a backstroke yep. or okay? It was a breaststroke. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, for playing. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Uh, as always, stay tuned on our uh, social media and website, and look for events coming up digitally in the future. And come join us physically at the museum with a mask, please. Walters.